Reese here with the Door Her Beauty and in this video I am going to be doing a lip wax and honestly this is one of the most challenging lip waxes I've ever done but let's get into it so I'm starting out with using Nova Wax and I'm using the reverse lay technique because I can already tell that the hairs are very strong and dense and coarse so reverse lay technique is usually the way to go when you're waxing really dense strong hormonal hair the nova wax is a good wax i just don't believe it's durable enough for this type of hair It got some hair but it didn't get as much as this neck strip that you're going to see so i didn't want to subject her to a lot of discomfort so i moved back to the easy wax using that same technique reverse lay which means you're applying the wax against the growth and then you follow up by applying the wax with the growth this traps the hair underneath and on top with the wax and it allows it to grab it from both ends basically and it just kind of secures the hair even more you will see once this strip is removed how much hair it clears on the very first strip and as you can see it was a little bit more comfortable and quicker the removal of course it left some hairs behind because again as like i said this is really really tough hair and you can see the strip is a totally different result from the previous strip and so we just kind of continue this lip wax session using Easy Wax to America Horror Wax. So here I go following up on the opposite side. And as you can see, it's only so many ways you can apply the wax because the hair is actually growing from the nose down to the top of the lip. And it's very hard to make a lift from the lip area. So you have to kind of still apply from end to end, but also kind of have the wax going at an angle with the growth. It's kind of hard to explain. I just kind of apply it on a curve, if that makes sense. But I definitely try to get the wax underneath and on top to just ensure that all of the hair is being extracted from the follicle. And as you can see, she's not in that crucial discomfort you know and this is her first time ever getting a lip wax done so i didn't want it to be like super torturous like we know waxing is discomforting but like i always say it shouldn't be complete torture so i'm just going in and getting those small little patches right at the um front of her mouth area i don't know what that part of the lip is called like right above the cupid's bow so i'm just kind of getting the, the little patches of hair right there and you know there's only so many layers of wax you can do safely on the skin without causing it to lift to be really discomforting so after this strip i then i go in with the tweezers and just tweeze those little fine hairs that do remain and i do that on both sides and as you can see um this is near the end actually of this lip session we're going to be back with um her hirsutism wax session it was two weeks of growth it really wasn't that much growth um so you'll see in that video in a few days or so to come the type of results she got but i was really really proud of the lip because it got it super clean and it's like a night and day version from having hair to like having all the hair removed which you'll see here so she really enjoyed the results and so did i 